I, I... This is maybe as good a time and place as any to have an inner monologue about all this. Maybe this will focus my mind a little bit. So, Taylor said, I'm pretty sure of this. I mean, my memory isn't as good as it once was. But if I remember right, Taylor said that he did see he did see the highborns in the dream, right? And his description was sort of what was that, Jasper? Someone mentioned it. I can't remember for the life of me if, who it was. Someone told me. I need to take better notes. I really do. The thing is, we do not know at all. Uh. But the... Rocky? Fine, okay. I'll, uh, I was gonna in a monologue to you, but... Alright, I'll do it here. So, the, the thing is, we don't actually know if we can trust the high ones, right? I mean, they said they would answer my questions honestly, but, I mean, that's just what the filthy liar would say. And, oh, there's Rocky. Hey, Rocky, I missed you. Thanks for showing up. Thank you. See, I can depend on you. So... The thing is, we don't know what their motivation is. They said something about a harvest. And that could be literal, or it could be a metaphor, or it could just be another word for cleansing. Because, I mean, they don't really cleanse the world in the first place. I mean, there's always something left, because, I mean, we're here, right? So the Pyrians got cleansed, but somehow we came along. So why is that? There's also... You know, um, if it's a real harvest, I mean, my first thought, thought was, oh, they're going to eat us, right? Like, maybe they're, I don't know, like energy vampires, you know, um, maybe they want to eat people's souls or, you know, the magical energies in people or whatever. I, I, I don't know how these things work. Okay, Rocky, I really don't. So, I mean, that's a possibility. It's, it's a literal harvest. I mean, maybe they just like fried human for dinner. I mean, stranger things exist. But then why go to all this trouble? Why, why wait? Why not just... Well, it could just take some ramp up time. I mean, they know that we're fighting them in some way. Why not... Stop it. Well, maybe they cannot directly act on the real world. If they're really all around us, then I think that's actually something we can take for granted. They cannot directly influence the real world. Or real world, like the physical world. I guess real world would include them. Right? They can't... They can't just reach out and set the beacon on fire or something because they're incorporeal and... Or incorporeal and, and this beacon is physical. So, they can show themselves and they can talk to people. <laughs> Rocky's gonna have to take the way again. Sorry, Rocky. So, they can talk to people and they can manipulate people. And that's how they can influence the world, right? Like, if they get me to believe that the beacon is, is bad, then maybe I would work towards destroying it. I'm not saying I would. I'm just saying this is a possible example. Except they told me that the beacon would actually be able to defeat them. Now, it could be that they would tell the truth, but why would they? Like, why would you tell your enemy, oh yeah, this, by the way, is the weapon you need to defeat me. You know, like, why would you do this? Makes no sense. So, I think what this means is that it sort of confirms my suspicion that this thing is actually bad. I mean, what guarantee do we have that the Pyrians didn't actually you know, turn their thing on. And it is actually what caused the cleansing. Because if you assume that the high ones cannot actually influence the real world and have to do it by talking to people, then one great way to get the real people, the physical people, to destroy themselves with a big super weapon would be to tell them, hey, this is how you save yourselves. 
I think I've got this figured out. And that is all assuming that they wouldn't tell the truth. Because, like, if you if you are compelled to tell the truth by some... Whatever. Like, I mean, they're weird godlike creatures, right? So who knows by what laws they actually operate. So maybe they have to tell the truth. Maybe that's... It's, it's like a limitation they have of some sort, right? Whatever. Just let's assume this for a second. So would you then go and show yourself to the people... And tell them, hey, this is the weapon that you used to stop us. No, you would just stay hidden and say nothing. <laughs> so I think it all points to the fact, which is what I believe from the very first moment, that this thing is actually not a good idea. This is bad. This is this is this is bad. There would also be the irony of the Neremis being actually right about this being a bad thing. Just for the wrong reason. Which Yeah. How does that make sense? Like... No, 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 no. Um, okay, Rocky, I'm just gonna pretend you're here and that you can hear me. So, if Karnak or whatever his name is, is not an emissary, maybe they can't directly talk to him. Why would that be? I do not know. But that would also then mean that they can't directly influence him. Which is why they showed themselves to me. And not to the car guy. Because if they wanted this beacon destroy... Uh, no, he wants... To Wait a second. He wants to destroy the beacon. He wants to destroy the beacon. So, no, they didn't show... Assuming that this is actually the thing that destroys everything in the end. Um... Uh, this is complicated. My brain hurts. I want to be a farmer. I want to be out there somewhere. I want to have my farm and I want to have some pigs and goats and bees and just, you know, like some, 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 some carrots, carrots and carrots never harmed anyone. Carrots are good. <sighs> so, okay. The Neremis want the cleansing to happen. And they're going about it by destroying this thing because they think it's a weapon. So if this thing is actually what causes the cleansing in the first place, then the High Ones would want to stop the Neremis. Did they give me any information at that place that would be crucial in defeating the Neremis? I don't think so. In fact... By showing themselves to me, they kind of trapped me and made it so that I would get captured. Now, this didn't stop me. If they wanted to stop me from working on the beacon and everything related to it, then that would have not been a bad plan. You know, get me captured, get me maybe killed by the enemy. Something the High Ones obviously cannot, cannot do themselves. Either they cannot do it or they don't want to. Oh, this is difficult. And this, uh, there's also the question how this all fits in with their... You know, they said something about the plan of someone who's, who's dead in dreams. And they want to basically make those dreams pass into reality. Which also sort of goes back to the whole notion that I've been told about. That I am actually lying dead on the bottom of the notion with poor Sirius. So, who knows? Maybe it is my dreams... You know, me being dead at the boat North Ocean that are to become reality. And then that's the cleansing. And that's when everybody dies and me at the bottom of the ocean realizes that I am indeed actually dying and then I will die for good. So maybe this is all the fantasy. Oh my goodness. I'm... Oh. This is not good for my sanity. Now the big question is how do I proceed? I mean, obviously... Obviously, I need to do all the little things that I've been tasked with. Oh, and I need to go to the Nomad thing. Gosh darn it. Let's not let her wait there. I can discuss this with myself on, on the way, right? So, how do I proceed? If the Highborns... If the Highborns think that this is bad, they would want me to stop it. I think we can basically rule that out. Uh... They, I think they want me, they want me to work towards activating the thing. 
I'm pretty sure about that. I'm I'm thinking that assuming that the highborns are really our, our enemies. Good evening. My Sir Deluna. And um See, now I'm getting distracted again. So, if, if they really want us to activate this thing, then we don't want that to happen. Unless there is something more about the the cycle and the cleansing that we don't know about it, and it's actually a good thing and necessary for some reason. If the Highborns were working towards that, and there was some good in it, and some good plausible reason to actually do it, then it would, they would have just told me. Right? Right. So all they told me was, it's a weapon, activate it, please. And I think that means, you know, because they also said, yeah, it's a cleansing, it's a harvest, you're all gonna die. So, yeah, it all boils down to, we shouldn't activate the beacon. That is the only conclusion that makes any sense. There's also the question of who the lady in the ship was. I mean, she didn't look like a high one. They, they, look, they look very different. Yeah, they do, do look very different. So, the lady in the grey robe, she could be Tara. What is her name? Tara? The girlfriend of the lady from the... Oh, you never shut up, do you? Um, from the Frostcliff Tavern? The, right? I mean, because she went missing. But, I mean, that doesn't mean she was the lady in the grey robes. But, I mean, it is a possibility. Yes. Um, It's a weird possibility, but it's a possibility. I don't think this is the right gate. I'm pretty sure the High One said something along the lines that I am the only... Well, not emissary, but, like, the only person that matters for some reason. I, didn't tell them that already. I would say this is the foreign quarters. Please be the foreign. Yes. I'm I'm pretty sure that's what they said. Monsieur? I mean, I did receive a blow to my head very soon afterwards, and it's not the first one. Oh, I don't want to go into the burping. But I gotta talk to the lady. Yeah, the more I think about it, the more I think that the High Ones want us to activate the beacon. And if the High Ones want us to activate the beacon, then... We almost certainly don't want to do it. Yeah, I think I'm going to work under that assumption. Now, what I can actually do about this? See, more blows to my head. I don't know. The best course of action may indeed be to find out who the lady in grey was. See if we can find her somewhere. And... Talk to her again. I mean... Okay, so Lashiri said something about the first room. Would you be in here? No. Oh. Oh no.